Hello my friends, Dowels Rule here, and welcome back to another deck profile, and today we have the Ancient Gears. So, let's get right on into this with 3, Ancient Gear Hunting Hound. Now, uh, Hunting Hound has a nice burn effect on summon with for 600 damage, and it's your poly on legs, so it's definitely a 3 of in the archetype, in the deck in general. Uh, next we have your Stratos for the deck, 3 Ancient Gear Wyvern. Uh, you just sit, can't set cards when you use the effect of Wyvern, so keep that in mind. Uh, not that you will be setting cards, but... Next, we have three Ancient Gear Frame. Uh, I don't happen to have any copies of Ancient Gear Fusion because I don't feel like paying $50 for two copies of it, but um, Gear Frame is really useful for discarding any of your useless spell cards in hand and searching out any ancient, an ancient gear golem, which would give you an extra fusion material, and could potentially be the difference between a chaos giant and not a chaos giant. So, next I'm running three of the dragon. Um, just a 3k beat stick that is easy to summon. Pretty self-explanatory. Next is the ancient gear golem. Uh, he has become even more useful with the addition of Megaton Golem to the archetype, so uh, running three of him is even, uh, especially if you have Ancient Gear Fusion, you want to run three Golem, so. Next, I'm running two Thoroughblade, because Zodiac Barrage is actually really good in this deck. Um, and he's Earth, so you can go into Mrs. Radiant off of him. Uh, next, we have Box and Gadget. Uh, search Box off of Wyvern, then Box will search Gadget. Uh, nothing there. And then, uh, Box also has a target in, uh, Ancient Gear, uh, frame. So, if you happen to hard draw the gadget, then don't worry, because Box will still be able to search a guy. Then, for the spell cards, we have three Ancient Gear Catapult. Uh, pretty self-explanatory, especially with a going second deck. You want to set up with, like, a Gear Town or a Fortress on board, then pop it off with a Catapult. Or you could even play, if you don't have any monsters, you could even pop a barrage off of that, if you really wanted to. And then its engrave effect is also really useful, being able to pop a card for a token. Then if you pop your field spell or your um, fortress, then you will also get to special summon an ancient gear. Next, three ancient gear fortress. Uh, this is a great... This provides great protection for your Ancient Gear monsters, and if it's destroyed while in the Spell and Trap Zone, you can special summon one Ancient Gear from your hand or graveyard. Uh, I believe it ignores summoning conditions uh, from your hand or grave. Nope. But it restricts you to f for Ancient Gears, so you can't summon Golem off of it, but it's still really useful. Next, three Gear Town, uh, because it's an easy pop for, like, Catapult and uh, Barrage. Uh, three training because you're running six level eight monsters that are easily searchable. Uh, oops. Uh, where did it go? I have a two barrage. Sorry about that. Um, this guy lets you target a card on the field, destroy it, and then special summon a Zodiac from your deck. Uh, so it will basically, if you pop a... Uh, Gear Town, and a thir uh, you could special summon your Thoroughblade from your deck, and then it's just an instant Mrs. Radiant, and then along with, uh, if you special summon a Wyvern off of that, and happen to have a Hunting Hound off in your hand, that it could also potentially be an instant Mrs. Radiant Chaos Giant, depending on how the rest of your hand is looking. <laughs> Next, I'm running a uh, 3 Power Bond. Um, just because, uh, I would run two Power Bond and, uh, two Power Bond, two Ancient Gear Fusion, but I, again, I don't have Ancient Gear Fusion, uh, I don't feel like spending $25 a copy for it, so. Uh, but Power Bond, it actually bypasses the immunity to card effects that, Spell and Traps that Chaos Giant has, and it'll summon it out to 9,000 attack with piercing damage, and it can swing into everything. So, yeah, really useful. Next, I have an Overload Fusion, because Chaos Giant is a dark fusion monster. Limited Removal, because they're all machines. Monster Reborn, because Monster Reborn. And then Soul Charge, because of Soul Charge. Um, Soul Charge is really there as a later gameplay, or if you're going uh, first, uh, just in case you get blown out of the water, because 
Uh, this deck is a super glass cannon. Alright, um, now for the extra deck, we are running three of all of the fusions, three howitzer, three megaton, uh, three uh, ultimate, and uh, three chaos. And then I'm also running one Mrs. Radiant. Uh, you could also run Cleaver Genius or another Mrs. Radiant if you really wanted to. Uh, I found that I'd never need more than one. Uh, if I do, Mrs. Radiant is more of a uh, win more card. It, it's just to go for like a uh, 2k ass giants if I really wanted to. Uh, it's not extremely important for the strategy. Um, so. That is my Ancient Gear deck. Uh, let me know if you liked it. Uh, be sure to like, subscribe, comment, uh, all that YouTube stuff. And uh, let me know what you liked, disliked, uh, any suggestions about the deck. And, um, yeah, I'm going to see you guys next time. Peace.